So I'm grabbing the altitude up. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Great, thanks. Welcome. Thank you. It walked to the grave to could talk. Oh, are you Wendy? I'm not Wendy. Wendy is going to her post. Oh, okay. I'm Weezy. Hey, Weezy. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. These are maps of all the graveyards in... Can you share one? You sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, we are now at the West View, which is um, one of the newer ones. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is Westview, which is cool. And you just go around here. And the three people, the four people that are really noted for in this area are the Sanborns, okay. mm -hmm. the Browns, mm -hmm. the another a Sanborn a Brown couple that were murdered. Oh, really? Yes. So the boys were telling all about it, where they're buried. Okay. And also the Healy's. Okay. okay. So they're well, very familiar, all the yeah. So Brown, we live on Brown Road. So Brown must be the inductor. Yes, Warren Brown. Warren Brown. Yeah, yeah. You know the governor's mansion. Yes. So yes, he's buried here. So you can yeah. see his grave. And the, and the whole family, the Brown whole family, is here too. Oh wow, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Awesome. All right. awesome. Here we Enjoy. go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is Wells Haley. He was a farmer. Uh, he lived up here, and he was uh, the first progressive farmer of the town. And uh, he was basically the first to use some tools that made it easier for him. Uh, he lived 1789 to 1857. Wow. Yeah, awesome. um, uh, two of the tools in question was a horse drawn rake which could essentially collect eight times as much as a hand drawn one which allowed a lot more food for cattle okay. and increased productivity mm -hmm. and also the horse drawn sickle bar mower which became popular towards the end of the civil war in the 1860s mm -hmm. awesome. So is this the whole family? Yes. Yes. These are the uh, victims of a double murder, and uh, they were both killed in their house, and then all their money was stolen. And uh, oh, wow. thankfully, they found the murderer and killed him. They hung him in uh, Concord, New Hampshire. So. Wow. Yeah. Um, Thomas and Elizabeth Brown. Uh, the murder in question was Josiah Pike, um, and he essentially was someone that helped them out because they were retired at the time. And during the murder, he brought an axe that he claimed was to defend himself if necessary. And when he knocked on the door, the wife opened it up, took the blunt into the axe, and that's what she received, and the husband got the sharp end, and he stole about $500, which today would be worth about ten to 11000 Wow. In the early 50s, I suppose? 70s. Pretty old for that time. Uh, Thomas actually lived a little while longer because the died in the 13th, but he lived long enough to be able to say who had killed them and begin to press charges, but died before the trial could end. Wow. Wow. Mm. Good job. Great job. Good morning. How are you today? Good. 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 Good.
Dr. Charles Sanborn was born in Hampton Falls in 1821. He grew up with his younger brothers in the Sanborn house on Exeter Road. As a young man, he taught school in the chief during the manufacturers, became an officer in the militia, and engaged in politics. Mm. Dr. Sanborn received the place in the Secretary of State's office in Concord, and later was, the me was a member of the state legislature for many years. Child studied medicine and received his degree from Harvard in 1856. He began practicing medicine by traveling to his patients in Hampton, Seabrook, and Stratum. In 1967, he purchased the house across from the home where he grew up, currently the Red House on the corner of Mason and Exeter Road. Dr. Samuel was one of the best known and most respected doctors in the area for the practice extending as far north as Portsmouth. Charles married Elizabeth, who became sick in, in a wheelchair at a young age. Her wheelchair marks are still visible in the home. Charles' brother, Frank B., became famous as the Sage of Concord, who was friends with Henry David Thoreau and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Cool. Brothers Frank and Charles were very strong abolitionists. Charles had much tragedy in his family. Charles' first child, Mary, died at the age of three. Charles' son, Charles Phillips, was his father's companion on the long buggy rides to visit his patients, but sadly died in a buggy accident at age 23. His daughter, Anne, survived a long life as a merit school teacher and social worker. So this is Anne's plot, Annie's plot, who was the daughter who lived a long life. This was Dr. Charles. This was his wife. And then over there, that's his son who died in the buggy accident. And then his daughter who died at three. And then this plot, this grave is in Winter plot, but it's a mystery because we don't know who it is. So we think it could be a free freed slaves since they were abolitionists, mm -hmm. but you don't know. What does it say on it? says, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it's hard to read. Something October 1881. But it doesn't say when she was born. Yeah. It just says that. So this was mm. Charles when he was 25 then later as a doctor. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And then this is his wife, her full name was Elizabeth Giles Brown Sanders Sanborn, and then this is the red house. That's where they lived. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, where yeah. they lived in, this portion there, and then this is the house where they lived. Oh, uh, yeah, it now. looks pretty much similar, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, wow. That's great. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then in here, like his desk is still there, it's like very oh, really? old fashioned. Mm. I'm going to picture a few of them. Oh, cool. This, this has got like initials here. The same desk. Mm. So Deb, she lives in the house. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's, okay. that's the desk. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. I know. Do you feel like spirits in the house? <laughs> there has been like so many, there's so many stories. Like I could really? talk about it all day. That's what I'm like really into about the house. Like wow. history, eh. But like, like the spirit stories, I love them. Wow. And when was the house built again? I was built in like 17 maybe 83. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you. I love these stories. Very interesting. And who else is in of interest in this? Yeah. And then so that one? We went to Mason. Alright, should we do? Oh, 
yeah. there. Oh, yeah. But this was not there. It's just like this area right here. That was an addition. Okay. Um, and uh, after um, Joseph, um, uh, Joseph is right here. Um, he was the husband, um, and he was deeded the house um, in. Uh, he was deeded the house in 17. I'm pretty sure 1751. I'll have to. Uh, yeah, he was in 1751 um, when it was still a British colony. Um, and later it was, um, well, actually, first uh, their neighbor, uh, Charles Fairborn, um, like helped as a like, farm boy kind of like, uh, around their yard. Um, and then later he um, got the property um, in. 1865, I think. Yeah, 1865. So, like 114 years they had that property. Oh, wow. Um, and uh, he, um, Charles Sanborn, served as a doctor in the Civil War. Oh, wow. wow. I love the ladies' library detail. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Yeah, it is cool. Um, yeah, I think that's What's a, the little stone at the end? Uh, I think that's... I don't think that's part of their family. I think there's two years and six months. It's kind of a sweet little... Yeah, it is. That's sad that she was two years old. I know. A little. Mm. Um, and I think these, like, <coughs> down here are just, like, their, like, maybe aunts and uncles and family members. But that was, like, the family that the main family. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, um, that stone's cool. Yeah, it's different. I think they have, like, the symbols or something. Have, like, their family or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, over there, uh, is, uh, is these questions taking? Okay. I can, I think she's sitting down. I think she's sitting down on the job. Don't worry, Matt. No, probably. After hard birth, he the following year he became a pastor at the church in Hebrew Falls. Oh, wow. That's great. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's great. 